yesterday. Okay, fine. Let me give you a few questions and uh, you try solving them. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Hmm. So we're going to do polynomial division, division of polynomials. So we have a question. X squared plus or rather X to the power four, no, sorry, three plus X squared plus X plus one. This is the question. Uh, just a second. You have to divide this by x plus 1. So start, please, start doing it in the way it we did in the last class. Yes, ma'am. Yes. How do you write x plus 1? Are you solving it? Yes, ma'am. Kahan tak kiya aapne? Bataiye. Doing still the first one, ma'am. Sorry? I'm still doing. Haan, huh, that's what I'm asking. Till where have you done? Tell me what all have you written till now? What all have you done till now? Hmm. Yes. Yes, we are. We are still where have you done? What all have you written till now? No, I, I still think you can just. Okay, fine. See, let's do it together. I'm going to just. Write it again over here. Yes, I will. Fine, so we have x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1. Okay, we have to divide it by what? Uh, x plus 1. Fine. Now, we look at the first term over here and the first term over here, right? So is what that... we have to think of is we have to do x multiplied by what should give you x cube. Can you tell me 
x multiplied by what will give you x cube? Uh, and three. X multiplied by three will be what? Can you tell me? What is X multiplied by three? Yes, tell me what is x multiplied by three? It's okay even if you give a wrong on a wrong answer. Uh, this isn't a test or anything, right? So don't worry about giving a wrong answer. Yeah, what is x multiplied by three? I'm three. Sorry, three. X multiplied by three is. Uh, three. Three. So x multiplied by three is three. Uh, or it will be x3. Okay. Tell me what is uh, 2 multiplied by x? What is this? 2 multiplied by x. Yeah, 2 multiplied by x will be what? Yes, Riaz? Yes, yeah, I didn't hear your answer. Can you please uh, speak up a little bit? What is 2 multiplied by x? What is 2 multiplied by x? Mm -hmm. Okay. What is x? What is this x? What is it called? A variable. Very good. It's called a variable. So when how can we how do we multiply a variable with a constant? How do we multiply it? What will this become after multiplying? Mm. Yeah, tell me. It's okay. Don't uh, think that you're going to go wrong or something. Just tell me whatever you think the answer should be. Mm. Okay. Mm. If I write... If I write, um, let's say, let's say I have one apple over here, okay, fine. And this is how much? This is one apple, right? This is one apple, yes. Yes, ma'am. If I have two of these, then how many apples are these? Mm. So can I write two? Apples, can I write it like this? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes. If I have, let's say, three of these, then can I write it as three times an apple? Can I write it like this? Three apple? Yes, ma'am. Now, just just imagine that I remove this apple and in place of apple, I write X, 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 X. So how, if I have X plus X plus X, how many X's do I have? Three. Three X. So do you understand? What are we doing now? We are saying X plus X plus X, which means X is being added to itself three times. Anna? Like for example, when we do something like two plus two plus two, this is what? This is three times 
टू टू इज कमिंग हाउ मेनी टाइम्स थ्री टाइम्स सिमिलरली एक्स इज कमिंग एक्स इज कमिंग थ्री टाइम्स सो दैट इज दैट इज वाई इट इज थ्री एक्स राइट थ्री एक्स और थ्री इंटू एक्स सेम थिंग जस्ट लाइक थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई Here it is three multiplied by x. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now can you tell me two multiplied by x is written as you can take a look at ma'am two x. Very good, two x. Okay. Okay. Now tell me one more thing. If I write this, look, uh, I'm giving you a. We're writing a separate thing now. Okay, if I write, um, say four into five. What is four? Okay, not four into five. Let's let's take something even simpler. What is three into four? No. Three into four. Hello. Am I audible? Hello, ma'am. You're not audible, ma'am. I'm not audible. Okay, my Hello, network is pretty fine over here. Yes, I can hear now. Okay, please tell me what what is three into four? Uh, it's twelve. Yes, it is twelve. What is four into three? I'm just changing the order. I'm writing four first and three later. So, what is four into three? Same twelve. Same twelve, right? This is, by the way, this is called the commutative property. Okay. So similarly, if I have two into x, this is also two x, and if I have x into two, is this going to be the same thing or different? Uh, same thing. Same thing. What should I write over here? A uh, two x. Two x. So now, can you tell me what what is x into three? What will uh, I write it as? Three x. Very good. X into three is three x. All right. X into three is three x. But you said over here we should write three. But this is not this is not three x. This is x cube. Can you tell me what is x cube? What do you understand by x cube? X cube is like three times x. Okay, but three x is also three times x. What is the difference between three yes, x and x cube? Um. See, when we are talking about three x, we have three different x's. We have three x's, and what are we doing to them? What are we doing with them? We are adding them, right? We are adding, yes, ma'am. Just like we we saw over here. In this case, we saw, right? So we have yes, ma'am. Three x's, and we are adding them. This gives us three x. Again, you have three x's, but you have to do something else with them, so that you can get x cube. Can you tell me what that is? uh multiply very good when you multiply it it becomes x cube for example if if you multiply 3 into 3 this what does what is 3 into 3 9 nine. nine okay so this is written as 3 how many times is 3 being multiplied with itself three times H how many times how many threes are there Uh, three. How many threes are there? Count uh, the number of threes over here. Six. The number of threes. How many threes Two. are there? Two. Two. So three is mal being multiplied with itself two times. So we write three square. So three into three. We write it as three square. 
is that okay yes sir so here in this case x into x into x x is being multiplied with itself how many times is x coming three three times that is why we write x to the power 3 is that okay yes sir okay so that is x cube now can you tell me x okay uh, let's do this over here so we have if i ask you x plus what should give you 2x Sorry, three x. Can you tell me x plus what will give you three x? Uh, x plus x. Okay, x plus. Riaz, let's say let's say instead of x, I have an apple. Okay, again. So this is an apple, and this is another apple. How many apples do we have? Two. Sorry, two, two. Ha, huh. speak a little bit louder, okay? Yes, two ma apples. So x plus x is what? Two x. Two x, right? So if I yes, ask you, x plus what will give you two x? What will the answer be? Take a hint from here. X plus what? Will give you two x. X. Very good. X plus x will give me two x. Okay. So in case you ever get confused with this x, what is this x? You can think about an apple, or you can think about your favorite fruit, or any object. Okay. A very simple object that can come to your mind. Just think of that object in place of x. So now, if I ask you, now think about the same logic that went in your mind over here, and tell me x plus what. Should give me three x. Uh, two x. Sorry. Two x. Two x. Very good. X plus two x will give me three x. Is this clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So similarly, can you tell me x? Multiplied by x, multiplied by x. We saw that this is equal to x cube, right? So x multiplied by what gives me x cube? Uh, two x. Two x. What did I have over here? What did I just erase? I erased something. What was that? Uh. What did I? What had I written over here? Can you please tell me? What was written here? Um, was x into hmm? x into x? The first x is already over here. I'm asking what was written over here? How many x's were over here? How many x's did I erase? Two. Two x's, and they were being. Multiplied with each other, so x into x is what? Can you tell me? We just saw over here. Uh, x into x. Yes. And two x. X into x is two x again. Uh, yes, ma'am. So uh, no. Uh, it will be then uh, x, x square. Ah. X, x square. C. X plus x is. Two multiplied by x, okay? Two x. This one. X multiplied by x is x squared. Okay. This one. Hmm. Always remember this two x comes because x is two is being multiplied by with with x because x is being added to itself two times. Okay. So x into x is x squared. So that means x multiplied by what? Will give me x cube. What, ma'am? 
x multiplied by what will give me x cube? Uh, x two uh, x square. Very good. X square. Okay. So x multiplied by x square gives me x cube. Clear till here? Yes, sir. Good. So here we have to see x multiplied by what should give me x cube. Like what we do when we are doing any normal division. How do we do a division? Let's say I have over here uh, eight. Seventy-three, okay, or eight seventy, or just write eighty-six. Fine. We have eighty-six divided by two. So we ask ourselves, two multiplied by what will give me eight? So can you tell me, two into what gives me eight? Can you read the table of two? Two ones are two, two twos are four, uh, and hmm, where do we get eight? Yes. Uh, I'm for three. So two threes are two threes are uh, what? Hmm. What is two threes are? Two. Hello. What is two threes are? What is two times three? Hello. Ma'am. Uh. Can you hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you. What is two threes? Ah, twenty three. Uh, six. Six. And I am asking you, two multiplied by what will give me eight? It's four. Four. So what are we doing here? We are we are looking at this, and we are looking at the eight, and we are saying two multiplied by what will give me eight. So the answer is two multiplied by four will give me eight. So similarly, yes, we are seeing the um, same. We are asking us ourselves the same question when it comes to polynomial division. X multiplied by what will give me x cube? And we just now saw the answer. X multiplied by x square will give me x cube, right? Clear. Yes, so what should I write over here? Uh, ma'am, x square. Very good, x square. Okay. So, just a minute. I'm gonna move all of this down. Okay, now we have plenty of space. Fine. So x multiplied by x multiplied by x square x square will give me x cube. So now yes, I'm just going to write the same thing x cube. I'm going to copy x it cube. as it is. Okay, and I am going to just make this line. And now this one is also left. I have to multiply this one also. This one yes, is left. We can't leave it behind, na? We have to do something about the one or the whatever is remaining here. We have to do something about that as well. So what will we do? We will multiply the one. We will multiply the one with our x square. Okay. What is one multiplied by x square? Uh, it's x square. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, you know x the answer. Square. It is x square. Yes. So one multiplied yes, by x square is x square. So now what we do? The next thing. Do you, do you remember how when we do a normal division, like two fours are eight, then we write eight, yes, and no. then we we subtract it. We put the minus sign over here, right? Yes, ma'am. So similarly, what we are going to do is we're not going to put minus sign. But whatever the sign is, if this is a positive sign, 
obviously it is a positive sign na x cube is positive if there is no sign then by default it is positive so we change the sign and we make this negative and we change the sign for x square also and we make it negative so we have changed the signs for x cube and x square fine now we just subtract them x cube minus x cube these two get cancelled zero yes ma'am now x square minus x square these two also get cancelled x no. square minus x square is again zero any number yes, minus sir. itself is zero so that is zero and zero now we just copy down whatever is left what whatever is left in the dividend this is called the dividend okay this uh, entire thing is called the dividend okay yes sir so now we copy down whatever is left in the dividend that is x plus 1 now the question is x multiplied by what will give you the first term of whatever is left this is the first term right so x multiplied by what will give me this this one which is x this one so this x this x multiplied by what will give me this x can you tell me x multiplied by what will give me x uh uh ma'am one yeah so x multiplied by one so we will just write positive one over here x multiplied by one i'm going to write it over here x multiplied by one gives me what gives me x so i'm going to write x over here okay now what is the next step do you remember now whatever was remaining which is this one over here i have to multiply this with what we have just written in the quotient so what yes, is sir. one multiplied by one it's one it's one so i'm going to write x uh, i'm going to write positive one over here okay one multiplied by one is positive one so i'm going to write that and again we're going to change the sign this becomes negative and this also becomes negative so now what is um, what is x minus x it is zero it's zero and what is 1 minus 1 again zero. zero so the remainder is zero and what is the answer what is the quotient quotient, uh, quotient. what is the quotient x square plus 1 very good x square plus 1 okay so now you know how to solve such questions let let me give you a, uh, another question do you have any doubts still here you can look at the division and tell me if you have any doubts any doubts riyas uh, no ma'am okay all right let me give you another example fine ma'am uh, first of all did you note this down in your uh, notebook ye jo bhi whatever we done uh, we have done yes ma'am you have noted it uh, down yes ma'am okay good now ma let's do another one okay yes? next please we something? uh Yes, ma'am. Can you explain me the like after uh, after dividing the x in the question you did the last time, right? Now you did right. After uh, after dividing the x, ma'am. After dividing the x, like this is one, right? Can you explain me like how to divide that also, like again, in little bit? Which one? Which one are you talking about? The one. The x plus one. uh you are saying 
you, you want to explain you want me to explain this part yes ma'am yeah okay fine this part this part uh, the x yeah x uh, x cube okay I I am not getting your ears. Can you repeat? Like I just explained how you divided the first part again. First part, as in you were talking about this. How? See, did you understand how we did x into x square is x cube? Then, so the first step was. Let me write down the steps for you so that it's easy for you to understand. The first step was x. Into like you know what I'm just gonna color code these things so that you can easily understand. Okay, just a minute. Just give me. Okay. I guess we're all good now. So, x into x square gives me x cube. This was the first step that we did. Okay. Yes, Sorry about that. X into this x into this x square gives me x cube. This was our first step. Then the second step was. Do you remember? What was the second step? V dare is equal to x yes, square. Okay. Uh, so this is the x square, and this is the. Oops, sorry about that. This is the one. And I'm just gonna give me a minute. This x square. No, just just a minute, okay? Yeah, I'll just take this one. This is x square. This is x square. This is x square. Okay, fine. Now the third step was we changed the signs. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Fine. So, till here it is clear. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Next, what is the fourth step? We did the subtract, subtract, subtraction. Yes, sir. We did the subtraction. Then the fifth step was x multiplied by what will give me? Okay. No. The fifth step was we copied down the. Remaining part. Copy down the remaining part of the uh, dividend, which is x plus one. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Now the sixth part was we did x. Multiplied by what will give me x, and this x is this one, and this x is this one. So now tell me, x multiplied by what will give me x? Yeah, from x. X multiplied by what will give me x? Any uh, number. One one. One one. Very good. Very good. So x multiplied by one. So that is why we wrote the one over here. Okay. Let me assign a color to that as well. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now the seventh step that we did was we multiplied the one. Okay, sorry. We wrote that x and we wrote it over here. X multiplied by. So first of all, we copied it. We copied the x plus one as it is. Yes, ma'am. Just a minute. Uh, I'm just gonna do it like this. Copy. 
Okay, so we copied it as it is. And then we did x multiplied by 1. Gives me x. This step is done. Okay. Then we write this x as it is. And the next step is 1 multiplied by 1 gives me what? So 1 multiplied by 1. one. What is 1 multiplied by 1? It's 1. It is 1. Right. Yes, it is 1. So that is what we are going to do. 1 multiplied by 1 gives me 1. So I'm going to write this 1 over here. Understanding? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now again, the next step. Yes, ma'am. Is we are going to we are going to copy the next step again. What is that step? Can you tell me? Look uh, at the sentence. You have to minus. You have to minus x minus. Then. Very good. You have to change the signs. Okay. Yes, change the signs and subtraction. I think I should write the subtraction along with this itself. No need to write it separately. Yes, okay. Change the signs and subtraction. subtraction okay so now we yes, subtract we change the signs minus and this also becomes minus this becomes minus okay so x minus x zero one minus one zero so we write the remainder okay so we yes, wrote the remainder over here and we wrote the quotient over here yes sir if you want, you can take a screenshot of this step-by-step -step process so that it becomes easier for you to refer back whenever you are maybe yes, looking at this, uh, how to do it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So is it clear now? Your, is your doubt cleared? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good. Now let's do another question. Hmm, okay. 2x cube plus x square minus 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. Okay. Yes, now, just remember, how do we do this? What is the first thing we need to do? First thing we have to do like uh, by multiplying what we have to, uh, what we get to x. Very good. Huh? X multiplied by what will give me 2x. 2x cube. Hena? Yes, x multiplied by what will give me 2x cube. So let's see. X multiplied by what will give me 2x cube. Achha, x cube ko, how can we write x cube? x cube is nothing but x into x into x, na? Yes, ma'am. So can you tell me x multiplied by what gives you 2x cube? Uh, uh, it's 2x square. Very good. That is excellent. 2x square. Can you see how yes, x is being multiplied with 2x square? Yes, ma'am. To give you 2x cube. This is 2x cube, right? So, yes, so x is being multiplied with 2x square to give you 2x cube. Fine. Good. Now, what was the next step? Do you remember? Yes, ma'am. Now we, uh, we have to find uh, 1 multiplied by what we'll get x squared. No, 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 no. 1 no. multiplied by 2x squared. Yes, ma'am. 
Hmm. Oh yes. One multiplied by two x square will be. Uh, one multiplied. Uh, one multiplied by anything gives you the yes, number no. itself. It's x square. X square. Two x square. Two x square. Is... Hey, nah? we have two x square over here. So two x square. So two x square. We write it over here. Two x square. Okay. Fine till here. Yes, ma'am. All right. Acha. Now we have to change the signs. Let's change the signs. Yes, if if it is already negative, then you make it positive. If it is positive, then you make it negative. So here we had it positive, so we made it negative. So now two x cube minus two x cube zero. Yeah. And now what is x square minus two x square? I'm talking about this over here. Yes, x square minus two x square. What is this? Is basically one x square, है ना? If you are not yes, writing any number. It means there is an invisible one that is being multiplied with it. So, because if you write one into a, this is a itself, है ना? So there is an invisible one over here, one a. So this yes, x square means one x square. So can you tell me what is what is one minus two? Uh, minus one. Very good. Minus one. So one x square minus two x square will be uh, minus one square. One x oh, minus square. Minus one x square. See one minus two is minus one. Yes, ma'am. Right. It's minus x square. Very good. Minus x square. So we're gonna write that over here. Minus x square. Is that okay? Ah uh, yes, ma'am. All right. Next, next step, we copy down whatever was left. Yes, ma'am. So minus two x, whatever was left. Now, what is the next step? X multiplied by what will give me minus x square. Minus x square. Can you tell me? Can you think about it? X multiplied by what will give you minus? I mean x into x, right? So x into what will give me minus x square? Um, my minus one. Think about um, uh... it. X multi X is being multiplied by what over here? What ma'am? Over here, X is being multiplied by what to give you minus X square? What is the X being multiplied with? Minus yes. x. Very good. It is being multiplied with minus x. So x multiplied with <laughs> minus x gives me minus x squared. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Now, what is the next step? Do you remember? Uh, next, the next step is. Uh... Uh, yes. yes, the next step is whatever is remaining, what is remaining in the quotient? Sorry, in the divisor, 
one is remaining in the divisor. So we so, multiply that with minus uh, x. With minus we multiply x. one with minus x. What do we get if we multiply these two? Uh, Ma'am, we get uh, one multiplied by anything is one the same. One multiplied by any number is the same number itself, right? If I say yes, one sir. multiplied by minus two, what is this? It's uh, it's two. Minus two, na? Yes, ma'am. If I say one multiplied by, or if I say minus three multiplied by one, what is the answer? Oh, my, uh, minus three. Very good. So if I say one multiplied by minus x, what is the answer? Uh, it's minus x. Minus x. So one multiplied by minus x is minus x. So now again we have to change the signs. How do we change yes, the sir. signs? So this is minus sign. So we make it a plus sign. And this is again minus sign. So we make it a plus sign. If it was plus, we make it minus. If it is minus, we make it plus. Fine. And now we do the subtraction. So minus x square plus x square gets cancelled. Yes. Yes, sir. And now if I say what is what is minus two plus two Priyas? Uh, it's uh. What is minus two plus two? Four. Sorry. Uh, it's four. Then what is two plus two? Um, is it uh no no two plus two is four. So mm. then, what is minus two plus two? Minus four. Okay. Acha. Fine. Look here. We have a number line. Okay. This is this over here is zero. This is one. This is two. This is minus one. And. Minus two. Now minus two. We have to start where? We have to start at minus two. We have to start at minus two. So minus two. We are starting at minus two. And where do we have to move? We have we have to go plus. Plus means to the right. We have to go to the right. How many steps yes, do we sir. have to go to the right? We have to go two steps to the right. So from minus two, you start your journey and you take two steps to the right. So yes, where do you end up? One, two. After taking two steps, where do you end up? Uh, in one. Tell me. Uh, I mean the zero. Yeah, we end up at zero, right? We end up at zero. Yes, sir. So minus two plus two is zero. Just like two minus two is zero. Similarly, minus two plus two is also zero. Why? Because their signs are opposite, so they get cancelled. Yeah. Your voice is cracking. I did. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, fine. So, is my voice still? No, no. Uh,
Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. So, so did you understand how two minus two and minus two plus two is the same thing? Yes, ma'am. So that is why here minus x square plus x x becomes now the next thing we have to do is solve this. What do we have here? We have minus two x plus x. What is this? What is minus 2 plus 1? Um, it will be 1. It will be 1. Think again. You have minus 2 plus 1. So that means you are going one step in the right. Minus 2 plus 1. So we start at minus 2 and we take one step towards the right. Where do we reach? Uh, in minus 1. Minus 1, right? So minus 2 plus 1 gives you what? Minus 1. So minus 2x plus 1x is what? Minus 1x. In other words, minus x. Is this okay? Uh, yes, ma'am. So here we write minus x and here we write minus 1. We just, sorry, let me just explain that. So we wrote minus x. Fine. Now what we do is we copy this minus 1, whatever is left, we copy it down and we write minus 1, okay? Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Next step, what is the next step? The next step is x multiplied by what will give you minus x. Can you tell me? x multiplied by what will give you minus x. Um, uh... Hmm. What do we need? What, what do we need? One. Very good. Minus 1. X multiplied by minus 1 gives me minus X. So what should I write over here? Minus 1. Minus 1. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. So now X multiplied by minus 1 is minus X. What is the, what is left now? What is the next step? Uh, minus, minus one is left now. What is the next step? The next step is one multiplied by minus one. What is one multiplied by minus one? Uh, I mean, it's minus one. Minus one, very good. So that minus one, we will write over here. Now, what do we do? We change the signs. So this thing becomes plus and this thing becomes plus. So now what is minus x plus x? Zero. Zero. Minus one plus one? Zero. Zero. So what is the remainder? Zero. Zero. 
What is the quotient? Two x square minus x minus one. Very good. Okay. Fine. Yes, sir. Okay. So I request you to try out some of these questions on your own. I'm going to give you.